G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. Consider this problem and see if you can solve it. Alice and Ben can do a job in three hours. Alice and Chris can do the same job in four hours. Ben and Chris can do the same job in six hours. So how long will the job take if they all work together? So pause this video if you'd like to give this problem a try and when you're ready to keep watching and learn how to solve this problem, start it up again. So time's up. How'd you try and solve this problem? Now unfortunately, a lot of people are going to have got the incorrect answer for this. And I'm going to show you why. There's a tendency when we get this to turn these into algebraic equations. So Alice and Ben doing a job in three hours becomes A plus B is equal to three. Alice and Chris can do the same job in four hours. So this becomes A plus C is equal to four. Ben and Chris can do the same job in six hours. So B plus C is equal to six. The next step is to want to put all these together. And these are not bad steps so far, but there is a bit of a problem as you'll see. So first off, when we put all these together, we get the following. We have A plus A is equal to two A, B plus B is equal to two B, C plus C is equal to two C, and the sum of all these numbers on this side, three plus four plus six, is equal to 13. Two Alice's and two Ben's and two Chris's all working together could get the job done in 13 hours. So now we can divide this whole equation by two and get what would seem to be our answer. So we end up with A plus B plus C is equal to half of 13. Now half of 13 is six and a half hours. And you might see a logical problem that we have here. It's taking these guys all working together longer than it is when they work separately. Maybe there's not a bit of logic, maybe that just says about how they work together. But anyway, we have a bit of a problem because it's how we've looked at the problem in the first place. The key is, instead of trying to solve this problem by looking at how long it's taken to do the jobs, instead what we're going to do is we're going to look at how many jobs they can complete in a set amount of time. So let's do that. Now to solve this problem, we could just go through and see how much of these jobs these guys do within one hour. And we'd end up with fractions, okay? These guys do a third of a job in an hour. These guys do a quarter of the job in one hour. And these guys do one sixth of the job in an hour. And we could solve it that way. But instead, I'm gonna treat it a little bit differently just to make the numbers a bit easier. As you can see, three, four, and six are all common factors of 12. So instead, what we're going to consider is how many jobs could these guys do within 12 hours? So as you can see, Alice and Ben could do four jobs. Alice and Chris could do three jobs, and Ben and Chris could do two jobs. So let's solve it now using these numbers here. So we end up with our algebraic equations. A plus B is equal to four. A plus C is equal to three. And B plus C is equal to two. Once again, we're going to put all these together. So we get the following. Two A plus two B plus two C, and this is going to equal the sum of all these numbers here now. Four plus three is equal to seven, plus two is equal to nine. Once again, we could halve our answer here. So A plus B plus C is equal to half of nine, which is four and a half. Now this is not our end answer. It's not four and a half hours. What it's saying is in 12 hours working together, these guys can get four and a half jobs done. So how long would it take them to get one job done? Well, simply, we would just go 12 divided by four and a half. So let's do that, and this will give us our end answer. Now, if you're terrible with fractions, you could just go 12 divided by 4.5, but I think we're better than that. Let's uh, use fractions to solve this. So we're going to end up with 12 divided by the improper fraction of nine over two, which is equal to 12 over one multiplied by and we do the reciprocal here, two over nine. 12 times two is 24 divided by nine. So our answer is 24 divided by nine. How much is that? So 24 divided by nine, it's two. Two nines are 18. And we end up with six left over, six over nine. This is equal to our final answer, which is two and two third hours which if you want to be really pedantic about it, will be two hours and 40 minutes. So all these guys working together will take this long. So how did you go with that? If you like the problem, let us know in the comments below and hit the like button. And remember, 
please subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with lots and lots more uh, problems and maths and things like this. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Keep well. Bye.